Did you know the average person breaks three laws a day? And now I'm gonna turn your screen black so you can look at your criminal face in the reflection. And now here's you with this silly little hat on. There are hundreds of bizarre laws that exist for, I'm sure, perfectly good reasons. But I intend to break as many as I can and turn myself into the police to see if the police will actually enforce them. Starting with... Pissing on a pigeon. That has a nice alliteration to it, but... Who do you take me for? Do you think I'm really gonna do that? It's time to turn myself in. Excuse me. I'd like to turn myself in. I just peed on a pigeon. <laughs> that wouldn't be us. Who do you think I am? These are vitamins. These are essential vitamin. It's fucking vitamins, dickhead. I'm not pissing on a goddamn fucking bitch. I actually got a bottle of water from the store and then went to Petco and picked up some vitamin C specifically made for birds. And then I cracked open the bottle of water and added a little dash of the vitamins. That looks like piss alert. Then used my teeth to poke a hole in the cap so I could spray it looking like a pee stream. Oh no, they're already coming. And then I spray the vitamin solution around where the pigeons were so they can stay nice and healthy and not end up like this uh, piece of pigeon that I found on the ground. But for real, uh, we're not gonna do this law. That's stupid. We're not, I'm not gonna hurt a pigeon. I'm not gonna put any, uh, any waste matter on a pigeon. Just kidding. I took a massive shit and threw it as many pigeons as I could. I was like doing clay, clay pigeon shooting. That was pumpernickel bread. Guys, that one was actually pumpernickel bread. Okay, I'm not trying to prank you. I just needed to do all that uh, as a form of rejection therapy. So now that I know I can go up to cops and turn myself in, let's start breaking real laws. What was this? Oh. So apparently it's illegal to talk to people in elevators in New York. Which is stupid, because we need to bridge the social fabric of America and not push people away. I'm Kamala Harris, and I approve this message. Did someone fart in here? It's always like that. Uh, ah. Does anyone else feel an itchy today? It's an itchy day today. <laughs> But I found it kind of hard to strike up conversation in the average elevator, so I went to the Empire State Building, where I could get in the longest elevator ride possible. Um, I had to go through security for some reason. Well, I guess there's a reason. And then they loaded us up into the elevator in the most famous building in the world. Welcome to the world's most famous building, and you get to see it built. Keep your arms and legs inside and keep your eyes open. I hope the cables don't snap. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'd all fall. <laughs> Anyways, the view was pretty. Definitely was not worth $50 for an elevator ride, but I got a souvenir picture taken. And I looked like shit in it, so I didn't spend another 50 bucks to buy a printed version. Mm, I think I'll pass. But I had one last elevator ride, this time going down. <laughs> what if we all jump at the same time? Valid. <laughs> he made a valid point. I hate being stuck in my head with me. But since I had broken the law three separate times, I thought it was a good time to uh, tell the police. Excuse me. I just talked to someone in an elevator. Is that okay? I like to. I was talking to someone in an elevator, and I was wondering if that. Oh, if that's okay. Okay. Got this. Thanks. Not guilty. Well, guilty, but they don't give a. All right, section 104 of New York. It sounds like I'm making these up, but this is real. Hitting people with a ball in the park. But it got me thinking, what is a ball? There's so many things that are in ball shape. How far will this law go? Welcome to the park. This is my uncle. <laughs> This is my cousin, this, this, this is my brother Tages. So right now we are not in park. If you take a few steps, you're in the park. Do you know what that means? Are you ready to die, motherfucker? <gasps> oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's actually legal to just get spit on, no matter if you're in a park or not. So the fucker shut Okay. Ah. <laughs> we broke the law! Now I didn't feel comfortable telling a cop that I blew balls in my friend's face, so I went up to a cop and blew balls in their face. And surprise, surprise, no arrest was made. It is illegal to place an ice cream cone in your pocket on Sundays. And see, now it really sounds like I'm AI generating these, but this is real. I also discovered an ice cream law in New York that it is also illegal to eat ice cream at a bus stop. So let's kill two cops with one stunt, and let's not say it like that. 
Holy fuck. So I went to the ice cream shop and I got myself a nice big scoop of silk uh, almond milk, silk almond milk chocolate ice cream so I don't shit myself. And you know what? I plopped that little ice cream in my pants and it, it, it felt weird. It felt weird. I'm so fucking crazy. Let me tuck my shirt in so I don't get like bus shirt on the fucking ice cream. Boom. Ice cream in the pocket. You never seen that before. They never seen anything like that. And all was going swimmingly until. It happens. <laughs> well, so I picked up the ice cream and carried it around for a little bit, put it in my pocket again. Uh, it started dripping into my pocket. At this point, my uh, pocket was just full of sticky liquid. Um, but I turned myself in, showed a cop. A spoiler alert, they didn't give a fuck about my predicament. I got ice cream in my pocket. Yeah. And I sat at the bus stop and forgot that at bus stops, this crazy thing happens where the bus comes to the bus stop. So I, 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 I just got on the bus because I didn't know what to do. But I didn't have a bus pass and my Apple Pay wasn't working. So I offered him a lick of my ice cream and then he just grabbed a bag and threw it out. And then I was on the bus, guys. But what bus, you ask? A random fucking bus that left the state. I, I went to New Jersey on accident. I had found myself completely sticky and in a made up place called Weehawken, New Jersey. Okay, awesome. So I'm sticky as fuck and in New Jersey. The worst part about being here right now is I can't even tell a cop what I did because I'm in a different state and the law doesn't exist here. I'm gonna try and figure out how to leave New Jersey. And it took two hours and I had to take a boat across the ocean, but I made it back. I made it back to where I can get arrested for eating ice cream at a bus stop. Anyways, good time as ever to introduce the next law we're gonna break. Flirting. You wanna flirt with someone? There is some old bizarre law where it's like technically illegal to flirt in New York, but I'm not letting no liberal government stop me. I love that sweater on you. Looking good. <laughs> I love the hat. I love your necklace. Very Excusez-moi. Your sweater is très joli. Very beautiful. Wearing slippers outside past 10 p.m. Once the clock strikes 10, I slipped my little froggy slippers on and I went for a stroll. And let me tell you, the breeze of the night getting in between your piggies as you jump around through the street, I felt exhilarated. I was weaving through cars with no hassle of regular shoes. Uh, that was until I stepped in dog shit with like no barrier between other than like plastic between my toes and feces. And you know what? If I was in shoes, I'd be like, all right. But those are my indoor slippies. Those are my foot. That's what I wear in my bedroom. I didn't even tell a cop for that one. I just accepted that was going to be my punishment. Uh, according to section 240.20 of New York law, it's illegal to do this. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, I don't know what to call this. Let's call it a na 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 boo boo. Uh, you you will go to fucking jail. And the na na boo boo's fun and all, but I think a lot of people just think you're waving at them. But I thought I'd do it to a cop anyways. Na 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 boo boo. Up, up, you're a mailman. That's not a cop. Hey, did you know it's illegal to take a selfie with a tiger here? Now you're probably thinking, Ben, where are you gonna get a tiger? And if you're thinking that, then you're actually fucking stupid because the zoo, you dumbass. Where I look like Tiger King. I took the train over to the Bronx Zoo, and when I arrived, there, this man... <laughs> This man asked me where Boston was. Me, like a pedestrian, asked for street directions of where Boston was. Sorry, what? Boston? It's like north, I think. Or wait, what? Yeah, Boston. What about it? And when I realized he wasn't talking about the Boston the city, he meant Boston the road, and he wanted to know he wanted to know where the fuck it started and where it ended, and I just said north. Like, go north, go north. I think it ends. This is the zoo. So, I don't know, sorry. And then he just got frustrated and drove off, and maybe he was trying to kid at me. I'm 25, that's not even fucking possible. That's man napping. Uh, anyways, they have this fun little monorail ride where it goes to like a tiger's enclosure. Coming up to your right hand side, you're gonna spot our tiger Sumana. And I thought this was my moment. I got my phone ready. I started taking, th oh, nope. He's like 400 yards away. So I got off the monorail and then I came across what I thought was a tiger. I'm not sure if this is a tiger, but we're gonna try the cat method. Meow. 
Oh, this is a snow leopard. Then I came across a dick hole, autistic wild dog. What the fuck is this? Oh, oh, Asiatic. And I think I pissed off the forest gods because the squirrels started throwing acorns at me. But finally, I went to the dick hole enclosure and they just stared me down. So I traveled onward to Tiger Mountain, which for some reason had all its warning signs in Russian. And when I got there, why did this motherfucker look like he was gonna actually eat me for lunch? And the glass was not a good enough precaution. But after a quick stare down, I got my pictures. Or so I thought I did. They all turned out blurry. I'm so greasy. I'm like physically so greasy that I ruined every single picture with a tiger. That was a last resort. The zoo lets you have these uh, VIP encounters with some of the animals. At first, they brought out an owl. And it was freaking me the fuck out. And I didn't like it. I didn't like the owl. So then they took it away. And then... <laughs> And they brought out a, um, like a fennec fox? <laughs> like, are you fucking kidding me? And it was so cute. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? This is, just, this is so fucking cute. And he was just running around and they gave me the grubs. Like, they gave me like a little, like, live grubs to feed it. And then he would... <laughs> like, I throw the little grubs on the floor and then they just come and eat them. And there's a actually soul cleansing like fuck mudang fuck pesto the penguin what about what about fennec foxes i'm so happy i'm so happy i love animals i love animals